You see, Mary, the ping pong trophy is rightfully still mine. But you lost, Mr. Richmond. I beat you. I was injured. That doesn't count as a loss. My thumb was badly bruised. But you play ping pong with your right hand. <clears throat> well, yes, that's true, but... I just think you're a bad loser. Nonsense. I'm, I'm an excellent loser. Then give me the ping pong trophy. No, not until we have a rematch. All right, well, whenever you want to play again, you just let me know. But I appreciate your letting me see the trophy. Ah, the trophy. I've had it in my home for ten years. Ten years I have been the reigning ping-pong champion of this town. I should just take it. What? Nothing. Oh, ah, ah whoa, hey, my foot's caught in something. What is this? Well, don't tug at it, it's... I, I can't get my leg free. Uh, uh, hey, I, I broke part of it off. Oh, now you've done it. Done what? What is this? Well, if you must know, it's a burglar alarm. I built it myself. Really? Yes, homemade. Is this dangerous? It would be if it were turned on and you played with the wires. Wait, wait a minute. You broke the wire on purpose, didn't you, Mary? Oh, right. I broke your alarm so I could come back later and steal the ping pong trophy. Exactly. I'm being facetious. I don't need to steal the trophy. I'll win it next time. Well, I don't care. Just go now, please. Oh, dear. How am I going to fix my alarm? Where am I going to get three feet of wire at this hour? Whoa, Wedgwood. Wedgwood, that's it. I can use your wire leash to fix the alarm system. Now, when I attach this and turn on the power later, the electrical current will be restored. Wedgwood, stop it. There. We're all set. The grounds are secure thanks to your leash, Wedgwood. Everything is safe. Especially the ping-pong trophy. It is mine. I won. It was the thumb that... I don't want to discuss it, Wedgwood. It's late, and I'm tired. All right, I'll sing you one song, but that's it. <clears throat> I love a dog named Wedgwood! W! Ow, e! Ow, D! Ow, 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 ow. What is it, boy? Oh dear. Oh dear, the, the light is off. That means there's an intruder. There's a, an intruder on the grounds, Wedgwood. Ow, ow. Alarm Wood, sound the wedge. Huh? I mean Wood Wedge, sound the malar. I mean Wedgwood, sound the alarm! <coughs> faster, Wedgwood, faster, there's an intruder. <laughs> Oh, my dear. It's the burglar. No, I'm not a burglar. Don't hurt me. There's nothing here to take. I'm Doug Savage, science court attorney. What's going on? Mr. Savage, what are you doing here? I was just walking by and I heard the siren. Well, I, I need you immediately. Come in. What about your guard dog? Will he bite? No. Stay! You're just in time, Mr. Savage. Somebody tried to burgle me. How do you know? Well, my all-clear light went off. Someone tried to burgle you, all right. Yes, and I know who. You're kidding. Who? Mary Murray. The same Mary who whooped you in ping pong yesterday? Yes. I mean, no, no. Why would she break in here? Well, to steal the ping pong trophy. Wow, that's attempted burgle. Are you sure it was Mary? Positive. She even told me she was going to steal it. Boy, that's helpful. Of course, she said she was joking. <laughs> that's funny. Will you fight for justice on my behalf? Well, Mr. Savage? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking to the dog. Of course I'll take your case. But first, we have to prove that your alarm system works. Of course it works. Let me make a phone call. Hi. I'm Jen Bettis reporting live from the I Am Richmond Estate, bringing you the latest news stories as they break. Earlier this evening, Mr. Richmond's burglar alarm sounded throughout the town, signaling a possible break-in. Luckily, Doug Savage showed up on the scene and has called an expert witness to help him evaluate whether or not Mr. Richmond's burglar alarm system is correctly wired to detect an intruder. While we're waiting, let's hear what you, our courtside commentators, predict the expert will say. Dr. Bean, what took you so long? Traffic. On your way in, did you have a chance to examine the burglar alarm system? Yes. It's crude, but effective. Hey, I don't care if it smells. I need to know the science behind it before I take this to court. Well, electricity has to travel in a full circle. 
from a power source such as a battery here, then through wire to some appliance such as a light bulb here, and then back through the wire to the power source. Wow. It's called a complete circuit. It's the basis of everything from a toaster to a computer. But let's say the circuit is broken somewhere. Okay. It can be broken in several ways. It can be broken at the main switch here. That's how Mr. Richmond turns the system on and off. When the switch is open, the circuit is not complete and his alarm system would be off. And how else could it be broken? Well, if an intruder broke the tripwire anywhere along its length, then there would no longer be a complete circuit. Well, that's what happened. The wire was broken and my light bulb turned off. Well, Mr. Richmond, I think we're ready for science court. Oh, oh! Run for your lives! And that's the whole story, Miss Kremple. These are very serious charges, Mary. I know. However, anybody or anything could have set off Mr. Richmond's burglar alarm. He has no proof it was you. Oh, but I forgot to tell you, the burglar alarm wasn't even working. What? It wasn't? No. Remember I told you I was at Mr. Richmond's mansion looking at the trophy? Yeah. Well, I accidentally broke about three feet of wire from his burglar alarm, and Mr. Richmond said it was too late to fix it. Well, this is some very important information, and we have to use it wisely. But I didn't trespass on Mr. Richmond's property, Miss Kremple, and I didn't try and steal the ping pong trophy. We believe you, Mary. Now we just have to get a jury to believe you. Morning, Fred. What? Stenographer Fred, don't talk with your mouth full. Oh, sorry. Jen, will you buy some tickets to the Science Court Talent Show? It's for charity, and I'm in it. Oh, okay. Um, I'll buy two. Uh, do you, do you have any without jelly? I got some with coffee stains. Oh, I'll take those. Great, thanks. There's a prize for whoever sells the most tickets. Who I'd like to get that prize. Oh. So, uh, what are you going to be doing in the talent show, Fred? A magic act. It's my hobby. Watch. Hey, hey, wait a minute. That's not supposed to happen. Well, I'll see you inside. <laughs> Wait, George, stop! All rise. All take out your money. All buy tickets for the Science Court Talent Show. It's for charity. Uh, why don't we start with opening statements? Mr. Savage, are you ready? Yes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this case is about science. Oh, sure, I may not have an eyewitness or any evidence to actually prove that it was Mary Murray, who trespassed onto Mr. Richmond's estate and tried to steal his ping-pong trophy. But what I do have is a burglar alarm and a motive. And the burglar alarm is practically foolproof, and the motive is jealousy. Thank you. Mr. Savage, you're not going to do this all day, are you? Naturally. I figured. And as punishment for Mary's awful crime, we are asking that she be banned from ever playing ping-pong again. Ever? Ever. Right. Thank you. Ms. Kremple, your opening statement, please. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client did not try to rob Mr. Richmond of his trophy or anything else. We will show that the evidence is merely circumstantial and doesn't prove anything. Okay, Mr. Savage, call your first witness. I call Mary Murray to the stand. Hi, Mary. Nice day, isn't it? Not really. I'm on trial. <laughs> right. Mary, do you love ping pong trophies? No. I do have a lot of them, and they mean a lot to me, but I don't love them. Yeah, but you wanted Richmond's trophy, didn't you? Well, I certainly felt that he should have turned it over to me, since I beat him. But I was in agony. Yeah, right after I beat you. Mary, where my client was after the match doesn't matter. He could have been in agony, he could have been in Paris. The question is, where were you on Saturday night at 9.23 p.m.? I was home. Can you prove it? Well, no. No witnesses. Hmm. Mary, isn't it true that you told my client you were going to steal his trophy? Ooh. Well, yes, but I was only kidding. It was a joke. Joking and kidding are very serious matters, Mary. Your witness, Ms. Kremple. Ms. Kremple. May I cross-examine Mary? Please, may I, please? 
I really don't think so, Tim. Not yet. Mary, I have only one question to ask you. Did you trespass onto Mr. Richmond's estate in order to steal his ping pong trophy? No. Thank you. No further questions. Mr. Savage. Your Honor, I call I am Richmond to the stand. Mr. Richmond, will you please explain to the courtroom and to the people in it how your burglar alarm detected an intruder on Saturday at 9.23 p.m.? Well, certainly. The tripwire which runs around the estate was broken, and the all-clear light in my bedroom went off. When I saw that it was off, I looked at the clock, 9.23 p.m. Uh, excuse me, but let me get this straight. You have to keep looking at the light bulb in order to tell if there's an intruder? Well, yes, but you make it sound so boring. Sorry. Continue, Mr. Savage. That's all. Your witness, Ms. Kremple. Ms. Kremple, may I please ask Mr. Richmond some questions? But this is such a difficult case, Tim. I know, but I've got a hunch. Well, what is it? Trust me, Miss Crample. Well, okay, but be careful. Yes! Thanks, Miss Crample. Mr. Richmond, how was your alarm system able to detect an intruder at 9.23 p.m. when Mary had broken it earlier that day? Mm. Oh, no. <clears throat> well, yes, that's true. Mary did break part of the wire earlier in the evening, but I fixed it. You fixed it? Well, yes, with a little ingenuity, I fixed it. So Mary's plan of breaking the wire and coming back later to steal the trophy was foiled. Oh, Tim. Well, no more questions. Tim, a good lawyer never asks a question unless he already knows the answer. I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Crample. I thought I did know the answer. It's my fault, Tim. You weren't ready. I should never have let you cross-examine the witness. Oh, we're in a lot of trouble now. I've got to figure out what to do. Your Honor, may we have a brief recess, please? I don't feel so good. Sure. But, Your Honor, I'm on a roll. I don't get on rolls very often. I am on one, aren't I? Yes, but we're going to take a break anyway. That's it! Everyone up, then down. Science court is back in session. Uh, okay, Mr. Savage. Call your next witness, please. I call Dr. Julie Bean to the stand. Dr. Bean, you're familiar with the electrical burglar alarm that Mr. I. M. Richmond has set up around his estate, are you not? Yes, I am. His system involves a wire that lets an electric current flow around the entire estate. And if that wire is ever broken, a light in his room is turned off. So he is alerted that an intruder is there, right? Yes. I said I was familiar with it. No more questions. I rest my case. Uh, Ms. Krempel, it's all yours. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Dr. Bean, what does it mean that electricity is flowing around Mr. Richmond's estate? Well... Everything in the universe is made of very, very tiny, basic particles called molecules and atoms. An atom is the smallest piece of an element, right? Right. And an element is a basic building block of everything, right? Right. And you're going to buy some talent show tickets from me, right? Wrong. Fine. Wait a minute. What do atoms and electrons and that other stuff you said have to do with electricity? What a fabulous question, Doug. Do atoms and electrons have something to do with electricity, or don't they? Courtside commentators, what do you think about this? You were saying, Doctor? Oh, yes. Electrons are very tiny, but very important parts of all atoms. And they can move from atom to atom. When a lot of them are moving from atom to atom, it's called an electric current. So electrons were moving from atom to atom around the edge of Mr. Richmond's property on the night in question? Yes. As far as I know, he had a complete circuit. Miss Crample? Um, uh... uh Miss Crample! Tim! Tim, I'm so sorry for blaming you. I was much too hard on you. Please forgive me. Of course I forgive you, Miss Crample. But you were right. I messed up. I didn't think everything through. I went to Richmond's estate, and I... 
excuse me, but can we get on with the trial here? Actually, Your Honor, I don't want to get on with the trial here. What? I want to get on with the trial at the I. M. Richmond estate, and I call Professor Parsons to be my witness. I love these trips. Let's go. I don't like this, Mr. Savage. Mr. Savage? Pick a card, any card. Don't let me see it. Okay, what is it? Three of diamonds. There's got to be something more to this trick. Okay, uh, where were we? Professor Parsons was about to buy some tickets and take the stand. Fred? Okay, he was just going to take the stand. Hello, everybody. Professor Parsons? It's magic. I can answer questions from up here, no problem. Go ahead, what do you want to know? Okay, but first, I'd like to turn the questioning over to my very able assistant, Tim. Thanks, Miss Kremple. Now, Professor Parsons. Yo! Electric current flows when millions of electrons hop from atom to atom, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Here is a piece of wire used in Mr. Richmond's very own burglar alarm system. Where did you get it? I found it. Right here. It's the piece that Mary accidentally broke off. Can electrons go through that wire? Oh, yes. This is a very good copper wire. Electrons will flow right through this baby. <laughs> and what about this? It's a leash. Mr. Richmond, is this what you use to repair the broken wire? Yes, it's Wedgwood's wire leash. Why? Professor, will electrons flow through the leash? Uh, well, let's see. This device is called a galvanometer. It uh, detects the existence of small electric currents. Basically, it measures how many electrons are flowing through something. Uh, so let's see. First, we'll test the copper wire. And whoa! A lot of current flows through that. Copper is a good conductor of electricity. What about the leash? Uh, just as I suspected, almost no electrons flow through the leash. So almost no electrical current. That's right, no electrical current. Objection! That leash must have millions of electrons in it. Is Mr. Savage right? Does the leash have millions of electrons in it? And if it does, why wouldn't it conduct electricity? Courtside commentators, what can you tell us? All right, Professor. I told you that this leash is made of wire and contains millions of electrons. Now, what do you say to that? Yes, Mr. Savage, there are millions of electrons in it. Whew, that was close. But there's a big problem and a little problem. What's the big problem, Professor? Uh, no, the little problem first. All right, the little problem. Uh, I mean the big. Okay, the big. Uh, maybe the little. All right. Well, the big. Which one do you want? Can we try the little? Uh, okay. The big for 500. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Savage. Speaking of problems, Professor, go with the little problem first. Okay. We'll go with the little problem, which is that the wire of this leash is made of a material whose electrons do not hop around too easily. Some things, like the copper wire and this gold ring, for example, are what we call good conductors of electrical currents. But other materials, even metal materials, like this aluminum leash, are not. So what's the big problem? Well, the leash is also covered with rubber. So? Rubber happens to be a bad conductor of electricity. <laughs> Very bad. In fact, it's actually used to protect wires from leaking their electricity. It's called electrical insulation. So, by attaching the leash to the wire, Mr. Richmond did not create a complete circuit. No, he certainly did not. So, this alarm did not detect an intruder because it wasn't even working. <gasps> but my all-clear light was off. Yes, but it was off to begin with. When Mary accidentally made a break in the circuit, the light bulb shut off. You just didn't notice it until 9.23 p.m. that evening. Mm, but, but, I... Nobody tried to break into your mansion, Mr. Richmond. Your Honor, the defense rests. Great job, Tim. Okay, let's get back to the courtroom for closing arguments. Ow! 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 That one hurt. Okay, Mr. Savage, your closing argument, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you have been a great jury. Remember the time you all mumbled when somebody said something? <laughs> that was great. Mary's guilty. And remember the thing with the thing and everybody was there? <laughs> Thank you. Very subtle. Miss Krempel? 
Thank you. Good people of the jury, Mary Murray did not try and steal Mr. Richmond's ping-pong trophy. His only evidence is his alarm system. But the electric circuit in his alarm system was not broken by an intruder. It was broken by a wire that did not conduct electricity. Some things conduct electricity. Other things do not. Spread the news. The current's moving down the wire. Electrons hopping and hopping. I just can't wait to have my electric current flow back on by. Some things make hopping so hard. Rubber wood. Some things make it easy as pie. Copper. But break my heart, cause this stuff don't like no hopping. Oh my, oh me. A terrible conductor, you'll see. You'll see. It's gonna insulate my current from me. Okay, jury, the case is all yours. I want you to think about the evidence and come back with a decision. Science court is recessed until the jury reaches a verdict. Oh, what do we have here? Ah, it's supposed to be a rabbit! Well, the jury has the case, but what will they decide? Let's hear what you, our courtside commentators, predict about the verdict. Will the jury find Mary Murray guilty or not guilty of breaking into I Am Richmond's house to steal his trophy? The jury has just entered the courtroom with a verdict. Let's get back to the trial to find out what it is. Okay, jury, let's hear it. Thank you, ma'am. We, the jury, that's us, find Mary the defendant, that's her, not guilty. That's, uh, well, that's not guilty. Thank you, jury. And I'd just like to add that the evidence showed that Mr. Richmond did not have a complete circuit of electricity in his burglar alarm system. Right. Thank you. Because the wire he used to repair it was not a good conductor of electrical current. Absolutely, I agree. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Oh, boy. We feel that Mary probably deserved the ping-pong trophy but that she should engage Mr. I Am Richmond in a rematch as soon as possible. Finished? Uh, yes, ma'am. Finished. Good. Science court is adjourned. Well, there you have it. Mr. Richmond. Yes? Will you play Mary in another ping-pong match? Absolutely. Anytime, anywhere. How about right now? <clears throat> um, now I can't because of I have... Okay. 